Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another software update video for our White Model 3. Let's jump right in and check it out. Huge thank you goes out to our Tool and Nicola Pro supporting this channel at the all electric tier. Click the link down below and support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. So it looks like the same release notes, the speed assist improvements, priority Bluetooth device, and glove box pin, just like the last software update. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up here in the corner. But let's go and we're gonna take this new software update for a drive and let's see if we can see any changes to this update compared to the last one. So yes, of course, 40.8.1 was the FSD beta release, but 40.8, what I got, would still not go through intersections, although I did try, as you can see here. But here's a video from Tesla Owners SV on Twitter in their Model X. So their blue steering wheel is a little bit different. I'm gonna point it out for you. It's behind the steering wheel. So that's how you know they're in autopilot right now. And you can see the visualization is a lot deeper. It tells you a lot of what the car is seeing. And as the light turns green, you're gonna see the car make a left turn. So they have a destination in mind. So this is navigate on autopilot on city streets and the car is in autopilot making a beautiful left turn turn so kudos to tesla owners sv who got the beta and that's so awesome and i cannot wait to test this out for you guys as soon as i can get my hands on it now if we jump back to my car 40.8 that's without the fsd beta i was doing some lane change testing and i did feel like it was a little bit smoother with the lane change with this newest software update but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and also here i'm able to turn on my turn signal to get into the lane like you've seen before. And once I'm in that lane, I was expecting it to almost attempt or attempt to make this right-hand turn a little bit smoother, but you can see it's started to accelerate here. So the passenger needed to grab onto the handle there, like you see. But I did do some also testing at a Cloverleaf and it said it was not supported with Navigate on Autopilot, even with this newest update. So I was able to go through the Cloverleaf in regular autopilot, but again, Navigate on autopilot doesn't support that even with this newest update. I did also try a roundabout turn in this newest update 40.8 and it did fail immediately like I saw. So it's identifying the intersection really well, but still the intersection travel through is blocked, except for if you have the beta release. Now this comes from another Twitter user down at the bottom you can see, and it's going extra cautious through this roundabout, but then accelerates pretty rapidly and makes its way fully through the roundabout. So definitely excited to test that. I got a plenty of roundabouts near me that I wanna test out, but as of right now, the software version I'm running in my car is not supported. Okay guys, that was the newest software update. Of course, that was just a quick rundown, but I'm gonna be taking this software update through my usual Kirby Country Road test, and I'm really excited to see how this one performs on that test. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified as soon as that video is uploaded. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys in the next one.